हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू ऑप्शन केक दिस इज योर होस्ट विवेक सोमानी पार्ट टाइम ऑप्शन ट्रेडर बाई फैशन एंड फुल टाइम सॉफ्टवेयर एग्जीक्यूटिव बाई प्रोफेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न हाउ टू जनरेट कंसिस्टेंट मंथली इनकम ट्रेडिंग ऑप्शन वाइल वर्किंग फुल टाइम इन यूर रेगुलर डे जॉब देन ज्वाइन मी इन दिस जर्नी हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी गो टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू रिड्यूस द कॉस्ट बेसिस ऑफ द शेयर दैट यू ओन वी गो डिस्कस अ स्ट्रैटेजी इन दिस वन विच इज that which will be very useful for those traders who are moving from just purely as a stock investor to also an option trading and we'll see which strategy can they use by using that they can reduce the cost basis of the shares that they already own in their portfolio with and that this is the most common scenario for the people who have been a stock investor so they have a bunch of shares in their portfolio and uh, they're wondering you know can we do anything about that so we'll see how we can use options to reduce the cost basis right so diving right into it so let's get started first let's understand what a cost basis is so investopedia defines the cost basis as cost basis is the original value of the asset for tax purposes usually the purchase price adjusted adjusted for stock splits dividends and return of capital distribution too complicated for a common person to understand layman terms it is the current cost of holding the stock means whatever is the amount of money that is held up in owning the stock that is your cost basis as an example let's say you bought a stock on january 1 2018 for $400 and stock is paying you dividend of $1 every quarter so by the end of a year you have received $4 as a dividend so the net cost of owning the share is $100 subtract $4 $96 so the cost basis is $96 okay why cost basis reduction is important before we jump into how we can do it i think it is good to know why is it even important to reduce the cost basis one it is the most important strategic financial decision why because you cannot control where the stock might go in future the stock that you own could go high great but it could also go in the reverse direction it could go low also you have no control on that stock but what you can do is to find a ways in which you can reduce the cost of ownership of your stock so that if the stock goes lower which is against your expectations your loss is reduced so if yeah and like i said it will reduce your losses if the stock price goes down and eventually if you keep on reducing your cost basis you might end up owning the stock for close to nothing and who doesn't like having free stuff so if you employ the strategy of reducing your cost basis multiple times you keep on reducing your cost and slowly you might own uh, those stocks for nothing in next few slides we will look at the how to do it but let's say i'm having a stock and it which is not paying dividend so dividend is one way to reduce the cost basis and that is why lot of dividend paying stocks are one of the favorite way of uh, investment for um, stock traders they invest in the stocks which pay high dividend and every dividend that is being paid is reducing the cost basis but what if your stock doesn't pay dividend and generally the growth stage companies won't pay dividend because they have a better ways to invest money somewhere else they would invest money in growing the business rather than returning the money to shareholders in form of dividends example facebook netflix amazon docusign these all are growth stage companies and they have been investing in their business heavily to grow the business and hence they don't pay dividend so if you own stock of these companies does that mean you are stuck because whatever is the the because your cost basis is whatever the price at which you bought the stock 
and now you are at the mercy of the stock market to see if the stock could go down or could go up just let me be stuck if you are only doing stock trading or stock investor uh, indeed yes but if you are also familiar with option trading then option trading does provide you with a solution called covered call so let's discuss what a covered call is covered call is selling a call option against the shares that you own and in this option you will choose the strike price at which you are comfortable to sell the shares or the stock that you own and you also choose the length of time that you can wait to to sell and for this waiting you collect a premium money so this is called covered call because the call option that you have sold is covered by the shares that you hold in your account and you don't have to put any additional capital because the brokerage firm already has the shares that you are owning as a i would say guarantee against that covered call so without adding any additional capital you could reduce your basis now let us look at an example of how to accomplish a covered call trade this is a screenshot from my think or swim platform and let's say you are interested in facebook and you want to buy facebook shares so you buy facebook shares 100 facebook shares at a market price of approximately 202 dollars what you can do immediately is to sell september call which is approximately 60 days away it is 59 days away you can sell a 220 dollar call for 3 dollar 60 cents so this is a covered call trade you buy the shares now the shares are in your brokerage account then you can immediately sell a call option against those shares so you don't to have don't have to add any additional capital but you will receive $3.60 as a premium for doing this covered call okay now we will look at various scenarios of what might happen to stock you know stock could go more than 220 at expiration or could stay lower than 220 and we'll see what happens in each case So scenario one is the stock price share price stays below two hundred twenty dollars. In that case, you will retain the premium that you had received initially, which was three dollar sixty cents, and you have the shares also. So now the premium that you had received will reduce the cost of ownership of shares. So now the new cost of ownership of shares is two hundred two dollars subtract three dollars sixty cents. So now you are owning Facebook shares at one hundred and ninety eight dollar forty cents, which is approximately one point eight percent reduction in cost in sixty days. Not bad. Getting approximately two percent in sixty days is good enough, and you had to do nothing. but just execute a a covered call trade no additional capital you were willing to buy and hold facebook shares anyway so which you did all you did in addition to that was to just sell a covered call now let's look at the other scenario where the share price goes higher than 220 dollars in that case your shares will be called away at 220 dollars but you were anyway willing to sh- sell the share at $220 because it will give you a return of approximately 10% in just 60 days not only you get the 10% capital appreciation uh, in stock you also retain the initial premium that you have received so your overall gain is much higher than $18 so you 
you have eighteen dollars of capital stock appreciation. Now you add three dollar sixty cents of the premium that you received. Your overall gain is twenty one dollar sixty cents for for the Facebook stock. So because of the call option that you sold, your gains are amplified. Now a question that I get from uh, my fellow friends are what if I still like the shares and I didn't want to sell the shares at that point of time. So my answer to that is you pick up the strike price when you're selling a covered call. Pick up the strike price at which you are comfortable you're, and you're okay to sell. Don't have a seller remorse later on. Let's say if your share get called away and you are still interested in in that particular stock you could buy it again and then sell another covered call at a higher price so you are going to rinse and, and repeat this cycle and keep on reducing your cost basis now we looked at a one example of doing a covered call of just one cycle of 60 days let's say the facebook share stays in a scenario one that it is less than 220. Now your cost of ownership of Facebook shares have reduced to $198.40. What you could then do is to sell another covered call. Now, based on where the Facebook share is, you can look at at what price you may be okay to let the shares go and sell a covered call at that strike price. If after the expiration of the second option trade, you still have the stock with you, sell another covered call. And by doing this multiple rounds of covered call, you could keep reducing the cost of ownership of your shares. Okay. Alright, so takeaways. As we have seen, covered call is a strategy to generate consistent income stream. If you can rinse and repeat covered call again and again you can continue to collect a premium and generate a consistent income stream and that income will continue to reduce the cost basis and this strategy is very equivalent to earning a regular dividend on the shares that you own in portfolio and you can use this for the growth stock uh, growth companies which actually don't pay a dividend and hence using covered call you generate your own dividend uh, income. I hope you find this useful in case if you have any uh, further questions please write it in the comment section or email it to optiongate at gmail.com if you liked what you learned please help me spread the word by subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much.